have in-depth coverage tonight. Former State Police Colonel Brendan Doherty announced today that he is returning the money that Chacon donated to his congressional campaign, despite declaring he would keep it just two days ago. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us live now with details. Susan, I just spoke with Brendan Doherty. He tells me he was not influenced by anyone or any media reports in making that decision to return Senator Chacon's $1,000 campaign contribution. Republican Brendan Doherty is now returning a $1,000 campaign donation he received from State Senator Frank Chacon. Chacon is accused of threatening a Barrington police officer last week while an officer was administering sobriety checks to Senate Majority Leader Dominic Ruggiero. I think this is a, a learning uh, experience for uh, a teaching experience for uh, people who are uh, in public service. I think they need to be held to a higher standard and, and I'm disappointed in uh, Senator Chacon's uh, uh, action that night. Doherty is a candidate for Congress and also the former colonel of the Rhode Island State Police. On Monday, we reported Doherty had decided to keep the campaign contribution from Chacon, but he now tells Eyewitness News he changed his mind after receiving new information from Barrington Police. I, I needed to look at all the facts and I assessed that for a, a couple of days and I, I determined uh, last night, uh, on Tuesday night, uh, to uh, return the uh, campaign donations uh, of Senator Frank Chacon. This was my decision. According to the police report, Chacon said to the officer, you think you got pension problems now? Wait till this expletive is all done. This guy voted against you the last time. It ain't going to get any better now. Chacon has not spoken publicly about the allegations that he threatened Barrington police, but he has apologized for any inappropriate comments he might have made. And now, of course, we know that this incident has cost him his leadership role. Live in Providence with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.